The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. This broadcast. The Sixth Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The speech of the Speaker of the Republic of Western Armenia. Western Armenia continues to struggle for the rights of Artsakh and the people of Artsakh. The 103rd anniversary of the illegal Moscow Treaty. Islamized Armenians. Armenian identity. The bust of Solomon Taylorian in Beaumont's district of Marcel. Support the state television of Western Armenia. On March 16, the sixth Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. The session was chaired by the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kaprihamian. During the session, the general condition was discussed on the government of Western Armenia. The government has adopted a decision properly implement the events commemorating the victims of the genocide against Armenians. During the session, the members of the government suggested drafts. The state television company Western Armenia will refer to those drafts in the near future. On March 15, the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. She talked on the basic events of the previous week in the Republic of Western Armenia. The speaker mentioned in her speech that the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia will participate in the diplomatic conference to be held at the headquarters of the World Inter Intellectual Property Organization. The delegation of Western Armenia will participate in the proposed diplomatic conference on intellectual property, genetic resources and related traditional knowledge for the conclusion of a treaty, which will take place in Geneva in May 2024 at the headquarters of the World Intellectual Property Organization. The upcoming diplomatic conference will put an end to many years of negotiations of the member countries of the world intellectual property organization during which the voices of interested parties, including the indigenous people, have been fully heard. It should be noted that the proposal to hold the diplomatic conference was approved by the General Assembly of the World Intellectual Property Organization last year and on May 13, 2024, at special session of the Preparatory Committee, the place and time of the last stage of the negotiation marathon was decided. You can watch the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia on the YouTube channel of Western Armenia TV. Now on the subject of Western Armenia continues to struggle for the rights of Artsakh and people of Artsakh. Recently the issues referred to complaints against Baku in international courts are very worrying. In Eastern Armenia they try to politicize all those issues that is why the protection of rights through lawsuit cannot in any way be subordinated or replaced by political processes and political documents adopted as a result. Decisions rendered by courts, unlike political documents, have a mechanism of implementation which provides a real opportunity to achieve the restoration of violated rights. Refusal of lawsuit is beneficial exclusively for Baku, as it allows to avoid responsibility for gross violations of human rights. The office of the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, takes into account that peace cannot be stable and long-lasting if no attempt is made to restore justice, the purpose of which is not only to restore the violated right, but also to prevent possible similar violations in the future. Refusal of pre-state complaints in the European Court of Human Rights will deprive the victim of an effective means of protection as the deadlines for submitting individual complaints have been missed as the victims have not exercised their right in the expectation of being protected through an inter-state inter complaint. The Republic of Western Armenia has made a clear commitment to ensure for everyone under its jurisdiction the rights and freedom defined by the European Convention on Human Rights, including the right to an eff effective remedy. Now on the 103rd anniversary of the illegal treaty of Moscow. On March 16, the 103rd anniversary of the Russian-Turkish illegal treaty was completed, after which a few months later was made the decision to alienate Artsakh from Armenian, came by the Bolshevik Kovburu. It seems that this so-called 103-year-old treaty and the Stalinist decision did not have had anything to do with today's events due to their antiquity, and therefore there is no point to talk about it, though it was not real. Western Armenia TV has already presented about this infamous contract, therefore. Today we will talk not so much about the political or legal content of the so-called dimensioned agreement, but we will talk at the psychological and perceptual damages on the people caused by the agreement. 
Moscow agreement in 1921 of March 16 and the result from its Stalinist decision were the red mark of crushing the identity and dignity of Armenians, psychological enslavement and politically, the destruction of the Armenian people. Nowadays we feel the political, legal as well as psychological consequences of the treaty in 1921 and the Stalinist decision made from it we feel with our distorted political perceptions and loss of nation state subjectification. In 1994, we liberated Artsakh, which is an integral part of the Republic of Western Armenia. However, based on the Stalin decision arising from the Russian-Turkish-Moscow agreement, according to which Artsakh is part of Baku, some political forces did, did everything to make us accept this illegal treaty. Instead of accepting the legal and political heritage of Armenia, the Yerevan authorities accepted the illegal document package of Lenin, Ataturk, and Stalin. By separating Artsakh from Armenia, we accepted the falsification of an independent Artsakh, thereby de facto recognizing the liberated Artsakh as part of Baku and de facto recognizing the illegal Soviet borders of Armenia. As a result of this, in 2020, 2023, we lost Artsakh. One of the most complicated aspects of the issue of Islamized Armenians currently living in occupied Western Armenia is the question of their number because providing clear numbers is associated with a number of obstacles. The numbers range from hundreds of thousands to several million. In addition, when talking about numbers, distinctions should be made between crypto and Islamized Armenians and their descendants, mixed breeds, which complicates the problem even more. In the context of this issue, it's necessary to quote the point of view of Randik, who has kept the issue of forcibly Islamized Armenians in the occupied Western Armenia in the center of attention for decades. In one of his perhaps last interviews, Dink addresses the problem of Islamized Armenians and talks about their number. He mentioned, Today there are thousands of people in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia, who have the courage of express publicity to write books and articles that their grandfathers were Armenians. There is now a movement in this direction in Turkey and I can say that it can be become one of the biggest and most promising work of Armenian life in the future. If one day Turkey becomes a member of the European Union, I will not be mistaken if the Armenian population will increase by at least 2 million more, according to the number of Muslim Armenians existing in Turkey. It is a very important issue for me to work on this issue and find those losses. It is very important to find such an Armenian and give him his Armenianness. One of the most obvious indicators of friendly relations between the two groups of Hamshan people is the ancestral names. Simple studies show that such a pedigree names such as Baboglu, Begaroglu, Kochagoglu, Beshiroglu and Bosnagoglu, Jivelekoglu, Chologlu exist in both groups. Along with this, they use such Armenian surnames as Minasoglu, Artaloglu, and Gasparoglu, Hachikoglu, and etc. Among the Hamshan people of Hopa, the question of their roots can give rise to many discussions and puzzles, but they don't hesitate to say that they all came from Hamshan. And in the Western group, although this friendship is generally accepted, when they say that Hamshan language is a dialect of Armenian and the Hamshan people have Armenian root, they make a dis distinction between them, which however can't be said that it is very widespread. Therefore, it should be said that this division is an easy way to avoid being connected with the Armenian identity. The bust of Solomon Terlelian in the Beaumont district of Marcel. The monument of Solomon Terlelian, an Armenian avenger and survivor of the genocide against Armenia, was installed in Marcel, France. On March 15, the opening ceremony of the mo monument was solemnly held in the Pasteur's Square in the Armenian populated Beaumont district of Marcel. During the event, the French Armenian children sang the song Yenilit, which means in English poor wine, and held banners in their hands, one of which was written Terlerian Equitable. In 2017, one of the squares in Marcel was officially named after the Armenian Avenger. Solomon Terlelian was born in 1879 in Jerzenga, province of Western Armenia. In 1915, he survived the genocide. On March 15, 1921, in Berlin, he shot Taylat Pasha, the main organizer of the genocide against the Armenians and the Minister of the Interior of Turkey. On June 2 of the same year, the German court recognized Taylorian as innocent, after which he left for Belgrade and a few years later for the USA. In 1960, at the age of 64, Solomon Taylorian died in San Francisco and was buried in the Armenian Arad Cemetery in Fresno. 
the state television company of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion and it mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia, the present and the future, with political and other contexts as well as news that raise various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.